Hey lovely creatives, if you've ever imported an image into Procreate and noticed it goes all blurry or fuzzy when you resize it, especially if you resize it more than once, this quick video is for you. I'm going to show you exactly how to avoid that blur and keep your images looking crisp and clean even after you've adjusted their size. Let's get straight into it. First, when you import your image into Procreate, try to resize it immediately, right after placing it on your canvas. The key here is to do all your resizing in one go if possible. Every time you transform an image in Procreate, it re-renders the pixels. And if you do it multiple times, that can cause your image to blur or lose sharpness. So get the size and position right early on before adding any edits. Once you tap the transform tool, that's the arrow icon at the top, look at the options at the bottom of the screen. You'll see a setting that's called interpolation, and it's usually set to bilinear by default. Tap on that and choose bicubic instead. Bicubic gives you the smoothest and cleanest results when resizing, especially if your image has soft edges, gradients, or fine details. If you're working with very crisp line art, you can also try nearest, but it can make things look pixelated if you're not careful. So best to play around with these settings and see which gives you the best results. Another tip is to make sure you're starting with a high resolution image. If the image you're importing is small or low res, it's naturally going to lose quality when you make it larger. So try to work with large PNG or JPEG files, especially if you're planning to move or scale them around on your canvas. Make sure your image is at least 2000 pixels wide or 300 dpi. Avoid screenshots or tiny social media images, they won't hold up to scaling. If you're using one of my coloring pages or digital stickers from Patreon, don't worry, they're all high res and perfect for resizing in Procreate. Sometimes what looks like blurring actually isn't. If you're zoomed in really far, like 500% or more, the image can look soft or pixelated, but that doesn't mean it's blurry in the final output. So what you can do is squeeze the screen like so, so that you can zoom back out to 100%. That gives you the most accurate view of how your artwork will actually look when exported or printed. Your canvas settings also play a big role in how crisp your images look. When you create a new canvas, make sure it's large enough for your project or what you intend or the size you intend your project to be printed on. So A4 or A5 or A3 is great. The DPI must be set to 300 for best quality. This is especially important if you plan to print. A small canvas at 72 dpi will make everything look soft and blurry, even if your image is high res. If you've already started and realize your canvas is too small, don't panic. You can resize it without distorting your artwork. Here's how. Tap the wrench icon in the Actions menu. Go to Canvas, Crop and Resize. You can then adjust the width, the height, and the DPI. Make sure that you have selected Resample Canvas. It should be turned on, and then you select Done. This lets you scale up your canvas and resolution while keeping your existing work intact. Once you're done, export your artwork in the right file format to keep it sharp. Use PNG for the highest quality and for transparent backgrounds. Remember that if you want to export your PNG with a transparent background, deselect the background layer first. You can use JPEG or export as JPEG at a high quality for web and social sharing. You can export as PSD or TIFF if you want to preserve layers and full quality for printing or future edits. So, let's recap. To keep your images from blurring in Procreate, resize right after importing and only once if you can. Use bicubic interpolation when transforming. Start with high resolution images. Make sure your canvas is large and set to 300 dpi. Zoom out to 100% to check sharpness. 
export using PNG for best results, and use Resample Canvas if you need to scale up later. I hope that helped clear things up, pun intended. If you've got more Procreate questions or something you keep running into, let me know in the comments. I love turning your questions into helpful videos like this. And if you're looking for high quality coloring pages, digital stickers and textures to use in Procreate, I've got a bunch of beautiful resources over on my Patreon, including a freebie for new members. Check out the links in the description below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell if you found this helpful. And happy creating!